Well, in this video content, I will introduce with you GStreamer, GST Launch tool actually. So we will create some pipelines with the GST Launch on the embedded devices. But that doesn't mean, of course, these commands, these examples will not work on the normal computer, right? You can simply run these commands on your computer, on your virtual machine, as long as you run Linux. So what's pipeline? Pipeline, for example, simply when you have some camera here, right? So then this camera will give some output to you. Then you put this output into a filter. Then after this filter, you will send this frames, the output to another screen or somewhere to the, to the screen to, to see it. So this is called a pipeline. GST launch uh, will give you ability to create this pipeline simply uh, using the command line. This is just a command line tool. So in this uh, tutorial, in this video content, uh, we will create some command line applications. And with command line applications, I will show you how you can use these command lines with the Python language and also with the Qt and actually QML language. So we create some different applications, sending frames from one application to another application and some kind of uh, testing applications. I don't know, camera usage, Pi camera usage uh, for Justin Nano, for Raspberry Pi, a few things like that. I hope you will enjoy. Let's start. I created a page here within the GitHub that you can follow uh, the comments and you can find some examples. I will, uh, in the next, I will update this page for the new examples or new some kind of uh, nice ideas about uh, GStreamer, also Python and uh, Qt. So you simply you can follow this page with the video. I will uh, simply follow this content right now. For the installation, uh, you should first update and upgrade your system. Then you should install these packages to your system. Then I, uh, I am not going to do this again. So after this, you will have a GStreamer tool, GST launch, and some kind of uh, useful tools also that we will uh, talk about it. So now let's switch to Hello World application with the GST Launch. To use the GST Launch, right now I am in the Raspberry Pi. Sometimes we will switch to uh, also the GST Nano, right, with the SSH connection. So before start, you should export a display if you have an SSH connection, but you can try these things on Raspberry Pi directly, so you don't have to do that. I did before, but yeah, you can do like this, export display zero, which is the uh, X server uh, number, the name. Then for the Hello World application, just type GST launch line 1.0. And as I told you, we are, we, our aim is to build a pipeline with these things, right? With the GST launch. So to create a pipeline, we need a source element first, which is here for an example, the, for the test, for testing, video test source. We will use the exclamation marks to, to send one uh, output of the one element to the another or to sing, for example. It's, it's like uh, using the pipes, right? For example, when you just type the PSC aux, then it will you know, print everything. But when you want to filter it for a single uh, specific process, you just you know, use the grab and pipe and grab the, and the process name, right? This is exactly like this. So exclamation mark, then we will send this video test source output to the X server, the X window. To do that, simply we have X image sync element. What is the type of the keyboard? Yeah, X image sync. I hope it sh should work. Yeah. On the screen, uh, you should see, and uh, I don't know what is the name, kind of uh, old televisions, kind of colorful rectangles. So this is a simple hello world. We create simple uh, pipeline here with the test source. Okay, you can ask yourself, what is this video test source? What is this X image sync elements? Uh, whatever you, you have as an element, you can inspect it with the tool, which is called GST inspect 1.0. Then you just give the the name of the element, video test source, then it will give you some information, some features of this element. Okay, this is important because 
Yeah, right now this is a test element. Yeah, well, probably it will. Uh, it supports all of the most of the let's say uh, formats here. Nice of fancy um, features. Okay, these are nice. But when you have you know Raspberry Pi and the Pi camera or other USB camera, some cheap USB camera, these things cannot support all things, right? So that is why first you should uh, simply inspect these elements then understand what's going on there which feature you can use so for example yeah, you can, this is there were some names yeah p people who create these things and blah 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 version license uh, source release date okay 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 just pass pass g object these are related with the g streamer still but we can use uh, talk about later in the next videos maybe this important the pet elements. Uh, this is source, right? This is source, not a thing. Availability always. I, I'm not sure what is it clearly. This is capabilities, caps, which is called that. Uh, actually, with the capabilities with the caps, you can change the format of the uh, output. You can change the size of the window. We will do this. For example, for the formats, as you see that there are a bunch of formats here that is nice that we have to play with to understand the formats, to understand the difference. And also here you can change the width, height, frame rate, multi view mode, multi view. I don't know what is it. And also there is an uh, X bar that but here it is with video X row. These are uh, this can be changed according to the source element. Okay, for example in the Nvidia. Uh, we will use another, for example, source element for the Pi uh, camera. This will be different in the uh, Raspberry Pi. So the capabilities will be different. We will see. That is why this part is important. For the notation, okay, let's let's change uh, the width and height parameters for the Hello World application. Okay. So come back to your GST launch. Hello World application. Just put an one more exclamation mark here, and I don't know if it's correct. Right? It's called an exclamation mark or something. I don't know. Okay. So put this then here. Um, we should use video. X row width which probably you know 500 let's say just give something but this is actually it's important for you know this for the uh, for the video test source is not important but this sometimes uh this should be kind of an integer or i mean it's an integer but a uh, multiplication of kind of an integer because you can uh, break the frames right the pixels then you will see some broken images this is important maybe we can see later hey it's you should check the uh, GST inspector. Maybe you can find some more information of, about um, related to the source element. Uh, let's put 500 again. Uh, that is okay, I think, right now to test. So run. See, in the screen, um, the size, yeah, it's changed. It's nice. Okay, what we can do more? We can change the format, for example. I need to check the format again here. Uh, well, okay, I, I will choose some. I'm going to choose a format that is not uh, supported by the XMH thing to <laughs> teach you to show you. For example, the gray uh, 16 LA. I'm not sure uh, the LA. I'm not sure. I can remember what's it, but this is the gray, black, and white, right? So we just come here and put just format. It's equal to. Oh, yeah, then we can copyright. Uh, did I copy? Oh, that's also already. Yeah, it's like this. So we will see an error, I think, I hope. Yeah, nice. That is what I expect. So simply it says additional debug info. GST base source C. I didn't check. Before source loop, GST pipeline, whatever, whatever it is. Source zero. Streaming stopped. Reason not negotiated. What, what, who negotiated there? Yeah, the source of the elements should be negotiated between each other. 
this is the idea right here so but it's so hard to understand right now if you don't know all the elements if you don't have any much let's say an experience or ex experience let's say at least then it's so hard to understand but it simply says x image sinks uh, element cannot support this format so what we can do here solution is as simple there is another element we will put in a pipeline another element to convert to convert this format to something which is uh, understandable for the x image thing like actually which is an auto auto uh, video you know it's just a video convert it should be let's check video convert yeah it's it's working see as you see then as uh, black and white simple well actually uh, okay I, I showed you that it makes it X image sync but there is an also XV image sync which uh, supports more um, formats naturally okay so we don't need every time video convert then I will show you for example um, as I remember X video image sync uh, supports this format I2 I420 but X image sync cannot support this let's try without video convert okay i want to take i want to i want to get the same uh problem again yeah the same uh, problem here same error cannot negotiate it so i just put here the v put here v here just v this is different sync element ah, it's working see x image sync cannot support doesn't support actually uh, what was the name i420 format but xv image sync supports uh, i don't know all the formats uh, you should check for the internet i can't remember all okay let's continue this is simply the hello world application right um, then i don't know that's okay for the for hello world but okay let's 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 check i forget something with the gst launch gst launch oops no not gst i i i need to look the impact and inspect and here for example to uh, play there's a pattern see these are also the features also the uh, arguments actually after the video source element that we can put these things for example um for the pattern for example we use zero here this is the default in a zero so this is smta 100 percent color bars color bars okay in the second pattern there is a random television signal i think this, this is kind of a noise this is black 100 percent black 100 mm percent -hmm. white nice <laughs> red green blue okay for example let's use this first uh, pattern and how we can use it here simply put pattern is equal to equal to two ah no there should be a space see this is important space are important here it's just a black i i wanna for i wanna put the one no no why i put two just one oh noise right to what was that yes yeah, black right so let's check another one of the gamut checkers okay other numbers blank gradient spokes pinwheel okay did i get 21 let's check the 21 oh nice oh i can't look at this my kind of weird thing there may be timestamp problem Ah, oh, there's another problem that for uh, this because I think the width and height parameters. I'm not sure. Yeah, is that the computer is slow? Nice. Okay. So has very high. <laughs> Buffers are being yeah, This is kind of the uh, probably the width and height parameters, the orientation or you know the percentage. Maybe I don't know. I don't wanna uh, go into now. Yeah, you learn GST inspect and simple hello world. So let's switch right now. Uh, What's the switch? Let's check. Yeah, Pi camera usage.
To use the Pi camera. Okay, let me clean the screen. To use the Pi camera, um, for example, I don't know. Uh, let's first start with this uh, in the NVIDIA, if you want, right? We can start in the NVIDIA. Let me switch to NVIDIA right now here. Yeah, I'm in the NVIDIA right now. So there is an, uh, another source element, which is an NR and Vargus uh, camera source that we can inspect. Inspect and Vargus cam source or camera source? Camera source, okay. Yes, bunch of information. Nice, then some just kind of total sensor modes that require them. You can read these things. Sensor ID, saturation, mm, I can play, nice, I didn't check before. G gain range, okay. Gain range, TNR strain, this is different. Features that we can play later, okay. Let's continue with the pet elements, the cap capabilities, the caps. Where is the caps? Oh, here, X row, as you see that, there is an, another new uh, string, memory. So this is different, different X row. See, different than the before. Oh, nice, it's not much. See, because it's not a test element, right? Um, I don't know, the pets, let's check the pets, uh, the formats. I can see the formats here. You see, I don't know, there are formats. Doesn't support anything. A format here, only this format, nice. Very rich. Yeah, it's normal, right? This is a, for the media uh, specific source right now. So normal thing. So let's, let me take the camera here. I have another camera, but it's not, doesn't have long cable. So maybe I can put like this. Sorry. Okay, let's run uh, this Pi camera on the NVIDIA uh, Jetson Nano or NX or whatever. But be careful, uh, you just connect correctly the Pi camera, right? The correct uh, GCI port. So GST launch. I also take this uh, from the internet actually, you can find also. Uh, I didn't write myself. Navargus, uh, Navargus camera source. Navargus camera source. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And video. X row. Memory. N V M M. Yeah, that's, that's just, I type here what I showed you before. Nothing more. Then let's put some width. 300 and height 300 again I don't know and I don't know maybe frame rate but I don't want to put any frame rate right now if you see some problems I can play with it format should be uh, NV then not 20, 21, 12 then it's okay another mark here N and video now yeah i we will not use uh video convert uh, elements here there's another elements in the for the nvidia this which is called n with con converter in with con and for uh, the transform it has and for the open gl actually it is an agl conversion NV AGL transform NV AG A A L A G no AGL transform and for the single element it's not a, we will not use this X uh, thing here but yeah this is not directly using the X image thing we will use an NV AGL GL thing which is called it's quite weird to call but N V A G L G L S C. <laughs> I don't know I typed correctly. N V A G L G L A S. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I couldn't post 
parts get extra memory mm. I think I put an N here so this is wrong right this should be comma and height format yeah this is wrong NV NVAGL transform NVAGL transform it should be and I didn't see anything yeah I saw myself there but yeah, it's rotated right sorry about it <laughs> yeah because of the camera position let's check any flip method here maybe we can have we can flip this with the camera source flip and do you see do you see any flip thing here some rotation I don't know I'm sure that there's something I, I couldn't remember mm, I don't know whatever we can check later so simply right now see I can run the pack camera on the uh, Nvidia with the GST launch nice okay so um what should we do on raspberry pi to run the pi camera with the uh, gsc launch there is a actually i will show you right i'm going to show you just two ways okay so let me switch to raspberry pi right now so um another pi camera is connected to raspberry pi here please be sure to enable the first the pi camera okay from the from the i don't know preference or something let me check oh uh, yeah preference and raspberry pi configuration that actually you you will find from the interfaces tab the camera should be enabled here probably probably you should restart the uh, all the system after this i couldn't remember before the pi camera source that you have to install something from the internet uh, that actually I, i'm going to show you another source element which is generic one also that we can you can also I'm going to show another uh, example for the USB cameras that we can use this tool for the USB cameras USB camera and CSI uh, I camera or whatever this is a generic tool generic source element so what is it what which, which is a for and uh, called an a v4l to source GST launch so zero v4l to source yeah this this is the source element so then here just we put the capabilities right caps video x row same uh, memory eight three hundred with three hundred let's say let's say let's put some frame rate here frame rate that you have to check you know the source with the end uh, inspect tool 30 and one or one another mark here then x we image thing no it's not working why it's not working let me put here video convert no it's not still working it's not nice v4l source video x row height with frame rates we should enable i think first the v4l2 bcm 28 i noted here but I forget it. V4 L2. Okay. Let's try again. So simply I will again put here V and frame rate hate okay for V4 L source, right? Not still not working so 
I don't understand why it is not working. Video. Maybe it's because of the USB color. No. Ah, okay, okay. This is... This is a different problem. This is different thing. The video zero. Hmm. So, I think we should first list with this uh, V4L, V4L2 tool. There is a control tool to list devices like this. So this is the code decode ISP. Trust webcam, this is my webcam. Which one is the Pi camera? This is the codex ICP. And this one we do too. I think we should put here dev and device, I think, as I remember device this path of the dev video two yeah it works it works yeah <laughs> yeah what happened before okay let me let me explain let me explain <laughs> So first, um, okay, I tried these comments before, probably, right? So <laughs> um, I didn't connect uh, Raspberry Pi, the Pi camera, so I just test the webcam, USB webcam, it worked. And I test Pi camera without webcam, it worked. But when I combined them, <laughs> yeah, so there, is, there, was, there was a problem, but I couldn't figure out. So when you uh, type like this, you know, V4L source or something, blah, blah, blah. It tries to find the correct device and it tries to you know, find the video zero. This is not correct. This is for here, as you see that, for the trust webcam. But these are, these are different, right? So, I mean, for the trust webcam, these are not exist. That is why negotiation cannot be created. So what I did, then simply I just inspect and the list of devices, right? Just with this, with this, uh, with this tool, then I figure out that my device is here. You know, just I try to also, if it does not work, uh, you should run the command. Just I just run the you, you showed right to enable it. But I think I didn't check with the mode pro, but it was already enabled. But I am not sure. You can also run this command again. So right now. We are uh, connecting with the Pi camera, with the V4, with the tool, with the source element, V4L uh, to source, right? So, but it's not the, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's called the best practice or not, but there's another way that you can uh, use for the same, actually much more uh, efficient, let's say, like like the uh, Navargus source element. Oh, just stay here. Oh, God. So what is it? It is uh, RPI cam camera source, actually. So when you search on the internet, on the Google, you will find a GitHub page. There's an instructions, clear. I've compiled and built it here before, so I will not you know, do it again. I'm not going to do it again. So simply git clone this repository and follow the steps there and install some tools, autoconf, automake, libtool, PKK uh, config and whatever if you development uh, packages, then configure it with the 
autogen ssh then make and make this tool after this you will have rpi chem source um whatever the element what was it the element yeah so let's check not with the gst launch with the gst inspect let's check uh, rpi chem source Ooh. still bunch of informations with different numbers what was that? i don't know so some kind of different you know features sensor mode shutter speed inline headers mm, we can check these things later in much more details because actually there are a really good nice things then come here mm, brightness there are a lot of things yeah the video direction for example see these are i think the so for uh position that i'm looking for here see here the jpeg video x row and h264 uh, format see well i'm going to use again x row here again that you see that there are uh, some kind of generic formats if you if you if you remember in the nvidia there's some kind of specific formats for the nvidia right so it can be it's about the source element that you use it's so normal the pad elements yeah, as you see okay and that should be at the preview also i remember the preview yeah this one preview y preview x preview hash that's on the preview ah yeah this one display display preview window overlay okay we should uh set the false this one otherwise it will bring two uh different output one of them is in the x row x uh, window one of them is in the just an overlay with the aga lighting or something but i don't know we can try but i will i will put simply uh, false gst launch 1.0 here then um rpi cam source preview false with the mark exclamation mark again no yeah video x row we just put width this should be like this the number the 320 for the integer of these things 32 i think as i remember which should be 32 the multi multiplier of a 32 and uh integer of 32 i mean and and the uh, height should be the 16 i think as i remember but you can try it and you can see the difference you can put it 320 it's no problem and let me check is we need a frame rate no we don't need a frame rate right now video convert x image sync yep you can see me again now we are you know using the rpi camera source cool it's working oh nice okay we already learned how to, we can uh, use Shit. okay uh, we already learned how we you know how we can use the pi camera for a raster pi and nvidia just nano or nx or other boards with the gst lounge of course with the gst streamer well now let's play um, with the other things. I will. Right now, I'm, I'm going to show you an RTCP example, which is uh, RTCP is called a uh, real time streaming protocol. Right now, um, OK, we just play directly connect to the pi camera or usb camera or something well 
But uh, we can also use the RTCP to send the frames over the network, one point to another. To do that, we first, there are a few, a few ways that I'm going to show you one of them. I think we can uh, talk about these things uh, in this another video with the Python, also with the RTCP that we can play with. But here I, I'm going to show you with the C language that simply you should go to uh, first uh, if you don't if you don't install install the RPI cam source you should do, you should do this right we just did before so just go to the uh, free desktop org and there is an tar file which is an GST RTCP server we need a server first for the RTCP and enter it then configure and make make install after this where was GST RPI computer, not this one. Mm -hmm. First, install this. I couldn't find, but we can install again. Then, tar the file, untar file, GST RCP, yeah, this one. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Tar XF GST. Yeah, because of the five Wi Fi, I think tap can. So fast. And go this file and configure it configure ching build systems type whatever uh, i hope it will work will find whatever okay so make to compile Yeah, it took some time, a few minutes. So sudo make install. This is the last step. Ah, it says relinking. Hmm, I already installed it. Well, whatever. Then go to the GST RTCP server examples here there are a bunch of examples already uh, compiled so we can use the test launch this should be six and there is one parenthesis and so yes yeah, simply that's some debug options um, you see we are using rpi cam source uh, source elements here. We're just passing the string. So preview false as we did. See, this is same uh, kind of pi pipeline. This pipeline. What we pass as a GST launch, it's kind of a pipeline here. Just we pass as a string. That we will do this for the Python also. It's kind of mods. It's false. It's, I just use as example. This is uh, hash. You know, this format is different. And we hate frame rates and parse these kind of things. Then run it. Okay, so in the, this port and it tests, uh, we can access to the uh, RPI camera right now that we will test. So my uh, Raspberry Pi IP address is, okay, let me open, oh, what is it? Just remind me later. Um, I have a Ubuntu machine here, a uh, virtual machine. Let's be sure first the device is pingable the Raspberry Pi from here. You know, otherwise, we cannot talk with it. Otherwise, I will use Windows. That's nice. Yeah, I can ping. So I don't need any RPI cam source or something here, right? This is the RTCP. Now we isolate, we abstract the system. So 
with the uh, to use RTCP I used before I think here let me check GST yeah this one exactly I use it so this is the not correct IP address this should be zero and 14 this should be 855 test is correct latency zero buffer mode auto is some kind of test uh, elements decode bin this is decoding right we will talk about this later video convert we already told auto video sync sync false just false, false for the synchronization so, so actually uh connected raspberry pi from the wi-fi it will be a little bit probably slow but let's try it looks nice i hope it will bring something yeah great here well actually it's not slow it's wi-fi and it's nice wow not bad not bad it's nice mm -hmm. okay so as you see that also we can uh, connect with the camera pass by camera or whatever uh with the rtcp protocol so this is you know for the security reasons i don't know how we can use it but this exists right also you can connect from your for example vsc gone player who, the, any, any other program which uh, supports the rtcp protocol it's nice from your phone so until uh, now okay we talk about rtcp uh, pi camera usage and the hello world application so the next one uh, we will the usb camera i will show you how we can handle the usb camera on the raspberry pi and how we can actually i showed the v4l control tool that i just showed you again and we will run uh, we will see the output of the some of the cheap camera here on the screen with the x window okay some bunch of uh, output data <laughs> okay then let's switch and there's the next uh, section the next session i'm closing it this one let me clear the screen so to check which devices are connected to your device or system or the raspberry pi or your computer we can use for uh, v4 l2 uh, we use actually for right control and list devices so here as you see that i have a trust webcam it's that cheap one of them well, not quite not cheap quite cheap uh usb camera that so shows the video zero and video one now i'm going to show you how you can uh, run this uh, video one video zero or i don't know whatever the trust webcam with the gst launch like a pi camera so let's start with the GST launch again and V4L to source, which is a generic source element device. Um, the video, let's video one. We are using here a decode bin here that I just showed you before, the code decode bin. Uh, this constructs the decoding pipeline actually pipeline like, like like a video convert like we will not care uh, if using video convert we will not care which uh, format is will be used actually to change to to for uh, the x image thing for example decoding is like this it's uh, using it's a try to find some decoders uh, using the available decoders right and demixers via auto plugging so then we need a video convert for for what for x image sim right that we did before no not a capture device the video one okay let's try zero yeah it should be zero okay this is a USB camera, not a Pi camera. As you see, that I didn't uh, I didn't put any number, any width, height parameters. 
it's just a default one it's quite big right in the, in the screen so you should try video one or video three to find out quickly why right, it's simple so for the video for the usb camera it's like that it's quite simple with the with for video you know v4l v4 and that i don't know v4l uh, tool it's uh, quite simple generic tool so let's switch with the uh, open cv usage and the gc trimmer open cv and the gc trimmer with the, of course the python python 3. so okay let's let's write simple hello world and uh, python example together uh, on the just nano i'm not using the right now uh, raspberry pi for these examples because the python uh, actually the open cv version is not uh, correct one here in the raspberry pi right now for me i set up um, open cv myself and the just nano that is why i'm going to use a json uh, right now you will see the version right now i put uh, on the, the python so you can find this in, in this exams uh, ex ex examples uh, on the internet on the github page that i showed in the beginning so i'm not going to write again so simply that's we can talk about on it this is the example first example as you remember you know this is the first hello world video source video test source and video convert and x image sync or x image sync directly here we are using the app sync app sync is uh, for if you if you don't write directly somewhere to window this one is used okay so you should import the cv to this is the open cv so check the version that for 4.4 it should be um, let me check here to to be sure yeah, I, I, I noted as an at least four, but I'm not sure a correct version. Maybe there's another problem, but I am not. I couldn't get it work in the with the three dot two version in the Raspberry Pi. So with this uh, as a string, we can pass as a string this uh, the, the pipeline for uh, the video capture. If you check this uh, definition of the capture video capture function, that you can see that you can pass the string there. So after passing the string we have the cam object which has an uh, read method that will return read and frame uh, objects the, from the frame these are the frames actually real frames so we can show these frames using the im show function image show function right, in a while loop right in the next also we can add something to frame right if you see this then you will also probably, uh, if you are more familiar with the OpenCV than me, then you will probably also think more things right now, right? Putting something on the frames and playing the frames. That will, it's, it will be nice. So let's go back and run the Python 3 Hello World application. Hello World, GSG Streamer, Python, whatever. It will print the uh, yeah, version 4.40. This is the version I'm using right now, it's working. But there's a warning, yeah, that doesn't matter. As you see that, uh, we just run the first example, hello world example with the Python. This is really nice guys, but believe me, you can do whatever you want for the image processing here. Sending the frames, one process to another, and manipulating the process uh, frames on the, with the Python, with the simple scripts in a few lines of code. These are very, really, uh, handy approach, like say, they're powerful things. So, for example, I have another, uh, let's say, an example here, right? So, GStreamer drawing Python, I just give it a name. Maybe I can change the names. Please uh, follow the page on the GitHub. It will draw, as you see that, it will draw the circle on the noise. On a noisy uh, test image, right? That I just did try before. Nice, right? So let's check what we did here. So just the numbers are just passed there. So let's pass the pattern snow to this uh, object to run in the video capture. And that 
after getting the frames with the read method using the OpenCV circle method I just put some constant circle there on the frame see it's simple to the frame then frames are showed on the imshow with the imshow uh, on the X window whatever this is really simple and nice nice very nice so uh, let's switch quite advanced topic right now I'm still uh, I'm going to still working in the Jason Nano on the Jason board now we are done with the uh, Raspberry Pi here um, but we can test if you if you install the OpenCV on the Raspberry Pi that yeah, everything will work also the um, the Qt now uh, we are going to use the Qt and also a Python and also shared memory approach to share the frames from Python to the Qt application another application this thing simply uh, to see the example what what I mean here okay let's first let me copy this pipeline is quite long I don't know why I write it's quite long pipeline what it simply does it creates a, some queue identity actually it creates a socket here this is the socket path that we can find in the TMP folder under the TMP folder and some this with the size for the shared memory size that you can find all the comments in the uh, you know web page this will be the server okay so we are in the local environment this will not work uh, in the network for the outside of the device we are in the local environment this is maybe for the security right for the security issue you can use this i will um, open maybe i have already no let me open the new terminal here so after running this it will create a server i hope yes it creates a server right now if you if you what was the name uh, temp sock right let me check again yeah temp temp sock if you checked for example well, i don't know why with the cat but temp uh, temp sock see there is a socket right now here i think it's a unix domain socket or something so we can connect the socket with another uh, you know command line another command as you see that there is no uh, image on the screen right now so i'm copying here another command and paste it yeah it is already working it's quite huge uh see here it's like a huge lush yeah so what i did simply i create server here in this uh, such connection somewhere in the local area so i connect again with another uh you know the screen then i run the example that is it, simple so thing like that this can be the python example right we can run this command in the python and we can run this command for example in the qml in the Qt. so we can share simply the frames between two different applications like an ipc this is a nice idea so let me show you for example a few simple startup examples uh i can't catch six seven okay i think it's killed already there is an vim uh, just the example so actually it's correct 
I couldn't figure out what is the difference here right now but no worries so simply as you see there are two different strings right now this is for the first string for the nvidia uh, you know now argus cam source we played with before and we sent the app sync you see and for the string for the gsc string we are taking from the app source this is the point then then we send to the video writer gsc string and for this is not important right now i just here put there an example but it's, if it's empty it will work i think then we will read the frames this is for face addiction okay we just correct we just directly update the face addiction okay so it will on it is it, this will be also the next example that i will show you but let's 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 continue with this this is an also a simple face detection example it will update the uh, it will detect the faces right and it prints these to the frame it sends the frame so then uh, it flip the frames i mean the frames then it write the frames which is uh, to the gstreamer that we can use from the another application so let me show you python 3 gst example python so it is running right now it's nice it is running right now so now um i compiled i compiled this example so we can run we can uh, run simple like this i have an agnfs platform here i mean i was explaining these things in the other video so you can check you can check my uh all videos for the Qt installation. This is just a platform of the Qt that I want to use an AGFS, which is a faster. And let's run. So now we are not seeing anything. Why? Mm, I think. We should remove the temp temp socket. Okay, let me run this again. Okay, let me run this again. I just clean up the uh, socket. Run again. Yeah, it's working right now. So let me show myself a little bit. It's quite slow because of the Python. Oops, 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 oops. I think this one is correct. Wait. So Python detect the faces and you know print the rectangle on it. On the frames and sends all the frames uh, to the socket with the G streamer. Then from the G streamer, using G streamer, we are reading these things with the frames from the Qt. But why it's not detecting any face? Come on, detect my not my eyes, but my face. This is a really simple example. You can use much more better ones. Yeah, it's just detect right now. Yeah, see. This is just a uh, very helpful example for the QML. We can check the for QML. What I did here. Cleaning up, okay. I know, I know you will clean. So draw rack, not here. I come back. Mm, let me do like this. GST. No, come back. GST. Same example. Client. Main QML. There's just simply main QML here. We are using media player, um, you know, tool in the QML. As you see that, we can directly write 
here we just I put some examples also we can directly write see here sm shared memory source socket path temp foo like we did before from the uh, terminal see we just use the qt 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 we using for the sync element nothing that's all nothing more then also we, we are running this uh, media player with the video output source player uh, like this auto play through here that's the procedure nothing more see just a three 40 lines of code maybe 30 lines maybe that is all i just uh, call from the c plus plus you can also run directly the QML. I didn't try it, but I think you can uh, you can do this. So, for example, in the second uh, in the second one, okay, let me put it back client two. In the second one, mm, it's quite also nice. Let me run. The example again and run this example sh shared memory client platform AGLFS oh yeah this is the same problem we should we shouldn't do the control C right it's not a good idea we shouldn't do this <laughs> yeah don't try this at home cleaning up segmentation for it of course of course I'm not a good boy so just simply remove temp foo sockets there's nothing more there so let's run again the example this is actually the face detection shared memory Python example that you can find on the page don't worry so then run this cute example again mm. now we are seeing some let me put myself for humanity okay so right now okay there's a red uh, rectangle that you see I will move it, I don't know, it's a movable object right now. I just change it a little bit in the QML, it's simple. So with the face detection, see, I can also move the rectangle it. So you can put uh, some buttons, you know, menu you can design, I don't know, whatever you want, it depends on you. This is really simple, it's really powerful, so don't worry about this slow thing, it's about, you know, uh, face detection thing, it's about the Python. If you uh, run a much more new and modern way, modern approach for the face detection, it will be faster. I just try, you know, to give you an example a little more. See, it is working very well. You can put text, you can design whatever you want. This is perfect. So guys, uh, that is all from here. And thank you. It's quite I think it's quite a long video, right? And the next ones um, we will go more deeply. Yeah, yeah, right. We are talking about just we have been talking about for just a video, the Pi camera generally. But of course, the GST launch is used for an audio applications for also for audio applications. But yeah, we are not uh, focusing it right now. And also, we can run some you know uh, much more complex uh, examples to, for reading videos or other kind of source that I will show you also these things on the NVIDIA maybe NVIDIA is a better idea to use I don't know we will check so see you uh, again take care of yourself don't forget to subscribe bye bye